Hey guys, so I just want to do a quick little video here because Apple has released iOS 8.2 uh, for developers. It's beta 1. So I thought I'd just give a quick little speed uh, rundown here. Now, probably not going to be a difference, but it still could be fun to do here against Android Fabio you know, Lollipop. So, what is new in iOS 8.2? Uh, well, Apple is saying that it's it has full native support here for Apple's new watch kit, which is uh, for developers, uh, so they can like create apps for the Apple Watch because iOS 8.2 has full support for watch kit, which is for developers who want to do stuff for Apple Watch, like create their own apps and all of those things. So that, that's pretty cool. Uh, but it's nothing for every other uh, all the other people. It's probably have patched some jailbreak things. Maybe you won't be able to jailbreak it. Uh, I recommend you check out Everything Apple Pro on YouTube if you want to see and maybe you can jailbreak it, but usually he has updates on that. But you can see I was 8.2 in here, which is awesome. Uh, it also, as I said there, yeah, lets you connect an Apple Watch, which is expected to be released next year. Uh, so you should, it, it has full support. So an Apple Watch can connect in the background to this device. So that's very, very nice. Let's just close everything. Of course, we have the beautiful Moto X here, which was one of the first devices here to get the latest fresh and clean Android 5.0, which is just, I mean, it's clean. It's awesome. It's gorgeous. It's, I mean, it's a step ahead of iOS, as you could see. I'm pretty sure most people would agree, but which one can boot here in a foster? So, now I should say also I have unlocked the bootloader here on the Moto X. I don't think it makes it slower, but it might. Shutting down here takes some time here on the Moto X, as you can see. Hmm. Okay, there we go. Uh, and uh, yeah, they were almost the same. I could see that there's a little scrolling thing. It almost, it, it uh, when I took it up, I saw the, it stopped. Uh, it uh, turned down and, it, you know, it was completely off. So the um, Moto X there booted down a little bit quicker, but not a big uh, difference. So let's go. Now, it's pretty funny, Apple phones still have only dual core, and everyone is talking about quad core. But even though processors and everything is increasing and becoming stronger and everything in Android, I mean, is it getting faster? That's, that's a good question. Hmm. So you can see here how much more speed, or maybe not super much speed, but you can see there, I was 8.2 seems to be rocking nice here against Android 5.0. Uh, I mean, it's just a speed test, but still pretty fun. Uh, let's go down to about phone. Let's go see Android 5.0, which is expecting to come to a lot of Galaxy devices and Sony Xperia devices here very, very soon. Um, the more we are closing in here to, to 2015. So you can play this little game, which is super hard. But uh, yeah, that's everything for now. Uh, if you want to check out the iPhone 6 or the uh, Mode X, I will have them in the description down below. So um, have a great day.